Martin here, thank you for joining me for this week's turning project video, I hope you are all well. I must apologise that I haven't managed to get this video um, published before now, but this week I haven't been feeling particularly well. Um, big thank you to everybody for all of your comments and feedback on the segmented turning videos and also again for your entries into the segmented bulk kit giveaway. The response was fabulous, thank you. Now in a little step away from segmented turning this week, I thought I would have a go at making a bowl, cutting a hole in it and binding it up with leather. Um, so here is the result, um, another experimental piece for me. Um, it's an 11 inch sycamore platter or shallow bowl um, with a V cut out of it and then bound up um, with leather and I've coloured part of it with rosewood stain, finished with acrylic sanding sealer and then of course my favourite Hampshire sheen, what else, um, and, then, and then just bound with, um, bound with leather. And I'm calling this piece bound number one as there is going to be another video next week with um, a deeper piece um, with some uh, perhaps some tighter binding, I'm not sure yet. So this will be bound number one. Thank you very much indeed for watching. Um, please do like, share and subscribe if you enjoy the video and please do leave a comment below. I always get back to everybody um, but I am a little bit behind at the moment so don't despair, I will get back to you shortly. So without further ado, here is how I turned bound number one. So on the chuck this morning I've got an 11 inch uh, blank of sycamore and it, as it spins there's just a tiny little knock but as that um, as, I, as I round it off that'll disappear. Um, so as this video is going to be mostly about the finishing and the decorating and the creation of the, the V shape for the um, for the laces. I'm just going to shape this off quickly and um, then get down to business. Right, let's uh, let's get it round. Right, I've got it round, I've, and I've squared off the face. I need to mark off where I want the recess to go, which will be there. But I also want quite a small foot on this piece. So I'm going to mark out the foot to be about there. So I'm going to have the foot there, the recess there, and then a very shallow curve back out to where the rim's going to be. Yeah, let's do that. Right, I'm going to start making the shape just by knocking off this corner and then going slowly going back to the foot. Right, as you can see I've shaped the piece and it's been sanded down to 400 grit and I've put my maker's mark in the bottom and infilled it with copper and now I have the airbrush with rosewood tint, rosewood stain in it and I want to put a, a faint colour from the foot out to about here somewhere just to give it a little bit of just to give it a little bit of colour on the underside.
and that's all I want. Yeah, nice. So I'm going to let that dry and then finish the outside, reverse it in the chuck so we can do the inside. With the sanding sealer cut back, it will be no surprise at all for you to learn that I'm going to use Hampshire Sheen as my final finish. Let's reverse it in the chuck and figure out what we're going to do on the inside. Now I've reversed the bowl in the chuck and faced it off. And at this point I don't need to worry about where I'm, I want to put the V to put the laces. Um, but I do need to have a think about how thick I want the rim to be. But I also need the walls to be quite thin too. Um, so I think I want the walls to be about that thin all the way down if I can. I don't often turn very thin walls, but I think this particular piece kind of kind of needs it. Um, maybe a bit thicker. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm going to put my walls on the slightly thicker line there, so that, that will also give me a little bit of rim um, to put an accent if I want to, or something like that. So I'm going to turn the bowl down, and then we can work out how we're going to have the laces uh, and the V-shape. pleased with how how that's that's come out and there's some lovely there's some lovely figure here so I think when I come to mark out the um, mark out the V shape it's going to be on this side but I'll have to see about that so I'm going to add a little bit of color to the rim blending down into the piece which will be the rosewood again. Give it a little test. Yep, that's okay. Get the lathe spinning nice and quick. And that's all I want. nice I'm happy with that let it so with the piece now essentially finished I can take it off the lathe and mark out where I want the the V shape to be for the laces or the lace rather now I've got the piece off the lathe and on my side of the chuck I've got the lovely markings on the inside of the piece so over on this side is where I want to put the V shape. And where's the pencil gone? And I'm going to mark it up freehand. Just do it by eye. I don't want the laces to be particularly spread. 
about there, I think. Right, now I need to find something that I can draw along. Now, I only want the V to come down to about there. Right, that will do. I'm going to take it up to the bandsaw, cut it out, and then we'll see how um, see how good my walls are. Mm. Cut it out, and I'm rather pleased with how uh, with how nice and even the walls are. And now I need to hand sand the inside back, the inside of the V shape back, so it's as nice as the rest of it. And then drill the holes for the laces, and then obviously lace it up. So you don't need to see me sanding this, it's going to be insanely boring for you. Um, so I will sand it down off camera and then I'll be back shortly. Now there's the V shape all finished and I've marked out on a piece of paper um, a little pencil line every every 10 millimetres, so every one centimetre. And I'm going to mark off every centimetre up, whoops, up the piece about five millimetres in from the edge of the V. And they are going to be my holes for the leather cord to run through. But I'm going to use the point tool just to give myself a little pilot hole for the drill bit to sit in. Like so, and then to help with keeping tear out to a minimum, I'm going to put some masking tape. back. Ah. To minimise tear out when the drill bit comes through. And then I've got a, I think that's a 3mm drill bit. And then I can very carefully start drilling out the holes. There's a little bit of tear out on the back, but not very much, and that will um, that'll come off nice and easily when um, when the laces go through. Right, I'm going to put it back on the chuck and start lacing it up. Before I lace it up, um, I'm going to tidy up the holes with a bit of 400 grit paper. just an old sanding pad that I've folded up. Right, okay, let's have a go and see if we can get some kind of lacing going on. Right, now I'm gonna go in there Missed that one. Oh, 
missed that one. And there we are, here is bound, um, or bound number one. Um, I hope uh, I hope you enjoyed this week's turning project video. I'm sorry that it's late, um, but as you know, I haven't been feeling 100%, but I hope you have enjoyed this week's project video and that you have been inspired to perhaps have a go at it yourself. Um, thank you very much indeed for watching please do like share and subscribe if you haven't done so already and if you feel so inclined then please do leave a comment below and that's it for this week folks thank you very much indeed and i'll look forward to seeing you again next week for another project video bye for now